Hi guys, happy Saturday. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I wanted to get on here and do kind of a hopefully quick health update video and just let you guys know some of the stuff that's been going on. It has been an extremely long week for me. Um, in the beginning of the week, I had a lot of the tightening episodes, which we're calling at the moment dystonia until I get my official diagnosis from the new specialist at the end of the month. Um, and apparently when it rains or you have tornado watches, it makes the dystonia kind of angry, which in turn made my pots angry and other stuff. And I was already beginning a flare up in the beginning of the week, but we had increased my steroids. So I was pretty hopeful that, you know, I was coming to the end of the flare up. So I updated all my doctors, let them know my lupus is flaring, my GI tract was flaring just a little bit, nothing too major. And so I just let them know, don't worry about it. We increased the steroids, not a problem. And, you know, I should be feeling better within a couple of days which didn't really happen. I think it was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I had mast cell flare-ups after dinner, and at first I thought it was like the food I was eating. It's like, hi, huh, I must have developed an allergy, like I think it was to London broil and potatoes, which is really random. But I mean, it can happen with mast cell that you develop random allergies. So I didn't really think much of it until it happened the third time, and I realized it's just the time of day for whatever reason. It seems to be idiopathic. I don't think it's caused by a particular food or a particular product or anything like that, which unfortunately happens. It's good and bad. Because I mean, it's good that it's not adding to my allergy list, but at the same time, it would be easier if I could just take away like a product or a food and feel better. So, and I was still pretty hopeful that the prednisone at this point was going to work and I was going to feel significantly better. Until Thursday morning, I woke up and I just didn't really feel right at all. But I figured, okay, maybe it's just side effects from prednisone. I mean, you can get pretty moody on prednisone. So I was like, oh, maybe it's just, you know, a little bit of depression with everything and stuff like that. Maybe it's more mental health with, you know, prednisone side effects because it's a really difficult drug to be on. So until I went to the bathroom and realized, oh, geez, my colitis is flaring. So I gave it, you know, till the middle of the day and then I called my gastro. I was like, look, now we're seeing blood and other stuff. This is not a good thing. And he was actually a lot more upset than I had anticipated, which was a good thing because I've dealt with a lot of doctors who downplay my symptoms, uh, downplay when I get bloody stool or other like really serious stuff. It's all been downplayed. So for him to take me serious was just so validating and it just made it the phone call so much less stressful. Like I didn't get yelled at. And I was telling my nurse that today, I was like, I had to call my gastro, which stinks, but I didn't get yelled at. And it was just so amazing. So that was, it really stinks to be in a flare up, but it's really reassuring to be working with good doctors. Like it really just makes such a difference in the stress levels with everything. So I just started 50 milligrams of steroids yesterday. I'm not thrilled to be up this high, honestly. I've only been up this high one other time. And just the taper experience was so awful. And that's the only reason I'm not thrilled. That and like just really stupid and petty stuff why I don't want to be up. Like I don't really want my moon face to get any bigger, which it's really in perspective. It's a stupid thing to be worried about. But, you know, I just feel like chronic illness sometimes just controls so much that you just don't want to let it control any more than it has to. So and like with all the tightening and all that stuff, it's been bothering my pots a little bit. Yesterday, my numbers were pretty good most of the day, like my blood pressure and heart rate. But I've had blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen issues all week. I had one fall from tightening this week, which was my first fall in quite a while. So I was kind of proud that I went so long without falling. So I try like whenever I come into something that's a really a setback for my chronic illnesses, I'm like, okay, well, I made it this long without having to do that. Like even with the ER, like I didn't like when I had to go a couple weeks ago or about a month ago. 
But at the same time, I was like, well, you know what? I made it six months without having to be here. So it's still a victory and it's still making progress and moving forward. And it's a good thing. So yesterday too, this is, I think the last thing. Uh, yesterday I went to another cardiologist. He was a rhythmic, rhythmic disorder specialist. My doctor wanted to make sure there was no like actually structure issue to be highly concerned with or a reason I shouldn't get a port or do I qualify for like any clinical trials, which by the way, I don't because they're not going to really, I mean, I guess you could do clinical trials if you have mast cell, but I don't feel like it's really realistic to be honest. I feel like it's kind of a stupid idea. I don't want to say that and put anybody down if you're in that position for any reason. But I just feel like for me, having so many allergic reactions, I'm not a guinea pig and I don't want to be in a clinical trial at this point. And I don't qualify. They all agree that it would be a really stupid idea with my mast cell and I'm already so sensitive to all the POTS meds on the market. It just wouldn't make any sense. The doctor was highly impressed of how well I do when I'm not flaring on the saline. So I am the only patient he's met with POTS, hypergenegic POTS, who is on saline. So, I mean, it is different, but hey, whatever works at this point, I'm just happy to be able to be upright. So this means that I am a step closer to getting my port, and I am very excited about that. I feel like it's just going to be a really big change for me and I'm gonna have more freedom with it and I'm just so excited. I'm ready to have my pick line pulled out at this point and go in for surgery. But I have a couple weeks left, two weeks till I see my cardiologist again. And then we're just gonna set up stuff with a surgeon. He did find some minor heart issues, but it's nothing to be concerned with. It's not really contributing to my tachycardia or any of my POTS symptoms, honestly. It's just the way my blood flows in and out of my heart that's affected. And it's just really quirky, random things. So like different valve issues and I believe an artery issue. But it's nothing that impairs me whatsoever. So that's a great thing too. So I guess that's it for now. I have a ton of specialists lined up. Um, not really able to function so well, but I was able to get outside today, so really happy to just be out here and enjoying fresh air. I would not have been able to do this a couple years ago, like this much sun would have gotten me sick. So I just feel so blessed and almost like a rebel to be outside when it's sunny. Like it's so exciting to have little improvements like this. So I will update you all as things come up and I mean there's obviously always a ton going on with my health with having a few chronic illnesses. I have like I said a ton of specialists lined up so I think at least for four or five more weeks I have at least one specialist a week. So urology is Monday. Rheumatology, which is, I'm so excited about. It's my old rheumatologist who diagnosed me with lupus. So I'm so, so happy to be seeing her. I am thrilled over the moon that my dad accidentally found her. I'm so, so blessed because she's such an amazing doctor. It was worth the two month wait, really. Even with flaring, it was worth the wait to see her. I know that. So that's the following week. Then I have the cardiologist again, and then we have neurology finally. So I'm hoping with neurology that we can at least get maybe the tightening under control or at least more bearable with the pain levels because sometimes I still scream from the pain from tightening, which I do want to do a video on dystonia because dystonia has been such a huge part of my life recently. So I feel like that would be a good video and not many people know what it is. All right, this went a little bit longer as usual than I anticipated, but I hope you are having a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys soon. Look out for the next video Monday, a day in my life. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.